I think that's just about lit. Oh, hello, I didn't see anything. And welcome to another Cute Fuzzy Weasel Reads. Today we're going to be doing the much anticipated Sonichu. In case you're wondering, yeah, I printed out the whole thing. So, uh, having not read this before, or at least having only read the cover, I can say um, this is going to be kind of a, uh, a thing where I read it and I've never read it before. What do they call those? An execution. Let's go ahead and go over the cover. I see the uh, Sonichu logo is so poorly drawn I can't actually read it. There's a guy who's holding a chocolate chip cookie and some kind of small mouse creature. They're both saying something to each other. The guy is, the guy's going, Go! Sonichu! Go out and zap to the extreme! I will! Thank you, Father! Uh, what? How is that guy this thing's father? I'm not even seeing a resemblance. Did he fuck a crayon? All right, let's see. It's by CWC Comics. Number zero. Hand-drawn premiere issue. Oh, wow. This thing could be worth something never. All Sonichu material are copyrighted March 2000-2005 by Christian W. Chandler. Whatever. So let's see here. The first first page has what looks like a message from the comic book author to us. It says, a message from Christian W. Chandler. I hope that you have enjoyed the sample episode in this free comic of the Sonichu comic book. Well, I haven't... You put it in the beginning, so I can't... It's... I, I haven't read any of it yet, so I could... I don't know if I've enjoyed it. I take great pride behind my electric hedgehog Pokemon. That's what this is supposed to be? Sonichu and all other characters of the city of CWCville. I want Sonichu to be more than just on paper. Oh, it, it, it became more than just on paper. I want him in his own video game. Little ambitious. Cartoon show. Way ambitious. And other fine merchandise. How long is this? Although I have already made some fun Sonichu items of my own, but I feel the public should be able to share in the zappin' fun. I feel so tired already. If you would like to see Sonichu as a real video game too, or catch him in a Pokemon title, which will never happen, please send your request to Nintendo of America Inc. or Nintendo Power Magazine. Please raise the hype on Sonichu so I will be able to legally talk to the people of Nintendo of America and make a deal with them. Am I stepping on someone's dreams? Thank you for reading the free sample of the Sonichu comic book. And as Sonichu says, let's zap to the extreme. But he didn't say that. In the cover, it's this guy who's saying that. Sonichu just says something really fucking creepy. But okay, wh whatever. Let's actually get to the comic. All right, so... First page of the actual comic, Sonichu's Origin. Our story begins in an open field five miles from the city of Station Square. So is the name of the city Station Square, or is it the city of Station's City Square? Which is under siege from the perfect chaos monster. Well, that doesn't make any sense. How can you have perfect chaos? Isn't by its definition chaos, disorder, and... And, I mean, you get Okay, so you get a perfect disorder? But doesn't that imply that the disorder is occurring under some kind of order? So it's not really chaos, is it? I mean, not to get all philosophical here, I know this isn't worth it, but think about it, will you? While Sonic the Hedgehog ponders over the destruction, a wild boy Pikachu... A wild boy Pikachu? A wild... What is a wild boy Pikachu? Is he trying to say a wild... Like, male Pikachu, or is that an actual denotation, wild boy? I don't know. I don't know a damn thing about Pokemon, or Sonic, or whatever this is. Takes notice of the far-off destruction. Okay, let's see here. There's a... Well, it looks like a little sausage-looking animal with a tuning fork coming out of its head, and it's looking at some mushrooms off in the distance surrounded by a fried egg. 
Pika? It's, I guess it's saying. Oh, and, and there's the guy. Oh, it's Christian. Okay. I'm Christian Chandler, it says. Sonichu's creator and author of this comic. This is his story and nothing less. Would it be anything more? Oh, and at the bottom it says all Sonichu material is copyrighted. It's the same copyright. There's a lot of copywriting going on here. Meanwhile! Alright, so, okay, that's Sonic looking at a... I guess that's the Chaos Monster, the big blue dong with a mouth. And Sonic is closing his eyes and I guess gems are flying around him. And then he's yellow. But then, okay, so he's yellow and he's looking at the ocean. And then we have a, a I guess the Pika thing. And it's running off onto a, no, okay, no, it's standing on a pier. And then apparently something happens. Let's continue, shall we? So the, the thing opened its mouth and the, the little, the little animals looking down at it, I guess it melted? And then, no wait, no, something, uh, the Sonic, orange Sonic guy hit him, and then rainbows. 15 miles of what? Okay, 15 miles away, there's a little animal looking thing, and it, it says, girl, right, right, right you? Or is that, a, I guess that's its name? And then it gets hit by a rainbow. Am I supposed to be smoking something while I do this to get it? Then there are two pictures that appear to not have been colored in, I guess. And then, um, there's these, these two anthropomorphic characters. I guess the, the two animals turned into those. At the cottage, ellipses. Right you! I saw the ellipses gasp! Who are you? Where's my Pokemon? Kel! Gasp! I'm your Pokemon. I was hit by a rainbow, and now I have transformed. Into what? No, seriously, what is that? Is it a... What is that? I really, I can't tell what this is. Oh my, you're as beautiful as a rose! As a rose? I need a new name since I'm... Yeah, they're all in... They're, they're all in capital, so I guess I'm shouting this whole thing. As a rose, I need a new name since I'm your new Pokemon! So you may call me whatever the fuck that is. Rosie Chew, it's so goddamn hard to read this. And that's a zap bud. Oh, that's some kind of, oh, it's a flower. Where is that flower? Is it somewhere in this picture? Is it on the ground somewhere? I don't see it. Okay, next page. Perhaps this will... No, not really. Okay, so on the next page, we see that the little yellow guy, he wakes up. What? Gasp! I've changed! Huh? And then he looks, and there's the, the monsters doing the Macarena. The battle is on! I've got to help! Time to zap! <laughs> oh, God. Then his legs turn themselves into an infinity symbol and he jumps on a circus tent. And then meanwhile, he's... That's the exact same location! You can't put meanwhile on the exact same location! Okay, so the next page, right. All right, he's shouting. Okay, so this, all right, so now we have at least, we know what his powers are. He, I mean, he kept saying zap, so I guess it's implied that it's electricity, but look, he's shouting thunder. There's some sort of energy surrounding him, and thunderbolts are hitting the whatever, and it's roaring. And then there's another guy. Are there two of these? And the other guy's going, almost got him. And then on the next page, I guess it died. Then there's a crowd of uncolored people going, Sonic, 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 yay! Later, God, stop jumping around. Later, uh, I guess he's looking at a sunset. Wow, what a battle! Not only that, but I have received super speed, a new body, and above all else, I am able to talk like a human. Now! And apparently, I look like that hedgehog I've helped earlier. From the cheers, I guess his name was Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog, ellipses. Sonic had just about the same abilities as I do, and I guess I'm now a hedgehog too. What? 
All right, just for reference, this is not what a hedgehog looks like. Hedgehogs do not stand upright, nor do they wear shoes. They also have two distinct eyes and not one conjoined tumor on their face. I guess I'm now a hedgehog too, and I'm a new Pokemon. I'm no longer a Pikachu, so with inspiration, okay, so with inspiration, I am now Sonichu. And from then on, Sonichu went on to make new friends as well as enemies, and he will use his abilities to stop evil and to save the world. Stay tuned for more zapping. Oh, God, you're never going to turn that into a phrase. More zapping adventures of Sonichu! Well, um, gotta say it wasn't as painful as I had assumed it was going to be. Maybe that's just because this is the first issue. I know that my immortal certainly got more painful the more I looked into it, but uh, this, this is just hard to follow. I'll probably be eating those words, won't I? Anyway, if you guys have any stories or any fan fictions or comics you want me to read, list them in the comments below. And, um, as always, I guess, have a good day. I'm not, no, I'm never, no, I would never tell you to have a zapping day. That's, that's just stupid. As for this, I, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with this. Oh, yeah.